Yeah. Fuck. Hey guys, welcome to Stan's Table. We're back from Christmas holidays and congratulate everyone with Happy New Year. It's better late than never. Let's rock out 2020 and fill it with delicious food. Today we're gonna use this beautiful piece of meat to make baked ham with potatoes, carrots and apples. Glazed in a classic combination of honey, brown sugar and mustard with a pinch of apple flavor. It's gonna be delicious. Let's cook. But before taking care of our meat, we should work with veggies first. After all, a carrot a day keeps the wild hunt away. Or at least helps with the right balance of healthy food and hamburgers inside the body. So we are taking a kilo of new potatoes and cut them in half. You can also use ordinary sized potatoes, just cut them in quarters so that they can bake easier. Sweet potato is an option as well, just remember that it's, well, sweet, you know. You are intelligent, I'll give you that. Then we are taking roughly half a kilo of carrots and chop them as well, in smaller pieces. I've got only orange carrots, but you can take yellow, purple or even white ones. Just make sure it's not horseradish, though I think you can try using it as well. The exact amount of potatoes and carrots depends on the size of your baking dish. Now add some olive oil. You know how they say it in all cooking videos before pouring in half a bottle. A tiny bit of olive oil, which is very Italian to have with lentil soup. And of course, a good pinch of salt. <laughs> Alright, maybe two pinches. Whoa, hold on cowboy, three is more than enough. And some freshly ground black pepper as well, thank you. Mixing vegetables with the oil with our bare hands, trying to make it evenly. Every piece deserves an oil massage. Even you, my little carrot friend. Set vegetables aside, take your bacon dish, make sure it's wide and deep enough, and fill it. Distribute evenly and make sure there is enough space on the top, cause that's where our meat will go to. Speaking of, BAM! On top it goes. Using your knife, cut a lattice pattern on our ham. Cut the top layer, but not too deep, we still want our meat to be in one juicy piece. So diagonal strips in one direction, then in the other, and we are ready to proceed. Season generously with sea salt, two or three good pinches will do it. Then freshly ground pepper enters the game. And of course, we want to use oil mix from the vegetables and pour it on top of the meat, rubbing and taking care of it. Give your meat a good old rub. Give your meat a good old rub. That's it. Nice and hot. Hot and spicy meat. <laughs> yeah, boy. And this baby goes in the oven preheated to 320 Fahrenheit degrees for the first 40 minutes or so. What should we do while we are waiting? How about some coin tossing? Subscribe to Stan's Table, O oh, Valley of Plenty, O oh, Valley of Plenty, whoa. God, I really shouldn't sing. But if you're watching this, subscribe, it really helps. When we are done with tossing and sinning, we can get to the fun part, our glaze. What do we need? A bit of this, a bit of that, mix it all together. Right here, Geralt, we need 20 grams of brown sugar, 100 gram of water, 4 smashed cloves of garlic, 60 grams of mustard, a pinch of cinnamon, 100 gram of butter, and honey inside this little cooking pot. With the help of a magic spoon, or at least that what I was told, we pour and dump everything inside this pot, including honey. Come on, honey, hop hop! And on the fire everything goes, medium heat until the butter is melted and everything is combined. While we're waiting for our meat and glaze, let's take care of the final ingredient – apples. Geralt, do you want to help? No thanks, you cut. I'll grab a bite to eat. Whatever you say. We're taking half a kilo of seasonal apples, firm and sour sweet. Soft apples won't do it, as they are gonna bake and become a shapeless mess. Cut out the core and slice into quarters or something like that, which really depends on the size of the apples you have. Mine are medium-sized, so quarters are my choice. After 40 minutes, we're taking our ham from the oven. Of course, it is not baked yet, but it's pre-cooked, and it's the best moment to add apples to the sides. You may ask, why not add them with all the vegetables? The trick is that apples are much softer than potatoes or carrots, and thus need less time to cook. Besides, having them on top will soak everything in mm, apple juice. Oh, yeah. 
enjoyed your apple juice. We are also adding the first layer of glaze. It has evaporated and thickened a little bit after 15 minutes on the medium heat. Run generously using a brush. Don't forget about size as well. We can also glaze apples. Why the hell not? Increase the oven temperature to 425 Fahrenheit degrees and return the ham inside for 15 minutes. We're gonna repeat this trick until we are out of glaze, so every 15 minutes take the dish from the oven, glaze the meat generously and return it in the oven for 15 minutes more. For added depth of flavor, mix some of the ham pan juices together with the glaze in the pot, which will help keep it runny enough for brushing. After the final glaze and bake, take the ham out of the oven. It should be cooked, but you can double-check it with a cooking thermometer. The temperature should be between 145 and 160 Fahrenheit degrees. Let the ham rest for 20 minutes before slicing. You can also check veggies and cook a little bit more without the meat until they are soft. For slicing meat, we're gonna use a big fork and a knife, although two swords is an option as well. Heard you wondering about my swords. Well, one's for monsters, the other for humans. Well, fork is for the meat and knife is for the meat as well. Cut generous pieces and be ready for the meat juice. Don't be afraid if it's a little bit red, it's totally okay. For the serving, place a couple of pieces on the plate, then drop several potatoes, carrots and apples. And of course, pour some ham pan juice over everything. You can also pour it in the pot and simmer on medium heat, reducing in half and making tasty gravy. And here it is, delicious, juicy ham with glazed edges, tasty vegetables and sauce with an apple taste. And now, after all that cooking, I believe we deserve a bit of rest. That we do.